There's a fish, oh my goodness. Nice bass. Oh man. Oh my goodness, I just spooked something over there. And now I got him. There's a fish. Oh, it's a good one. It is a giant. It's a giant. All right, everybody, here we are at the pond today. If you peek through the trees right there, there's Maddie out there in his kayak, getting ready to fish. I have yet to launch right here because I'm filming a little intro, but uh, man, I think it's gonna be a really good day. We got the whole pond to ourselves, I think, and we got some baits that I think are really gonna work well today. So let's get right out there. Let's get to fishing. It's gonna be a great, great day. Sorry, girl, I gotta go. Yeah, you know this ain't the old me Try to keep it on the low But we should probably just Out on the water now This is a brand new pond to the channel Never seen this fish here before And we don't really come here a whole lot actually But in the times I have been here It's been a really, really productive body of water Like I said, we got the whole place to ourselves Gonna be throwing around some pretty good fall baits out here Got a chatter bait, a mini chatter bait. Got some liplesses, got some spinner baits. In the time I was getting ready over on the bank, Maddie already caught a fish on a chatter bait. So it's looking like it's gonna be on today. All right, we're gonna start off with this little lipless crankbait today. Throw it around, see if we can just establish a bit of a pattern here, get on some fish to start. And of course, work our way up to the bigger baits and the bigger fish. You guys know that's what I like to do when I first come out on a body of water. Just see what's hitting, see if we can get on a real nice crappy bite or anything, and then, uh, you know, go for those bigger bass and pickerel out here later on. There's a couple of goats right over here on the shore. I guess this backs up to a farm or something. Listen to that. <laughs> we are using the brand new GoPro Hero 8 that I got. First video with that. Hey, bud. But, uh, yeah should be a much better audio and video quality for you guys right here. You know what? I'm feeling the spinner bait right now. We're just gonna go straight to the big stuff. Go for those bigger fish. You guys already know what I'm using. Big mouth lures, custom spinner bait right here. It's been my go-to fish catcher in the fall. It seems to work on pretty much every body of water I go to as well, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna catch fish here today. Got pretty clear water too, so these fish are gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna paddle over to this side over here. That way I can fish this to its entirety and Maddie's gonna do the same on the other side. That way we don't get in each other's way. Beautiful, beautiful weather out here today. Perfect fall fishing conditions. Nice little breeze, about 66 degrees I think it is today and the sun is shining down on us. Feels awesome out here. Sometimes you just come up on a spot and I've said this before, you just know it's gonna be a good one and I feel that today. Let's hope I'm right. Cast okay, close to structure see where these bass are at there's a fish <laughs> all right a little bit of a dink but that is always a good sign when you get a fish about five minutes into fishing for me it's a little dink right there first fish on the new gopro there he goes spinnerbait bite could be on today i think we're gonna do really really well wouldn't surprise me if we got some pickerel out of here too this place has them and has big ones I would definitely not mind catching a nice big pickerel on this spinner bait too. I've heard they love spinner baits. I know they like the inline spinners. I've caught them on those, but if you guys have been watching the videos lately, I've been doing a lot of spinner bait fishing and I mentioned that uh, I pretty much just started using spinner baits about two months ago. So I have not caught a pickerel on one of these big spinner baits yet. Maybe today's the day. There's a fish, oh my goodness, man, it's a good one. It's a good one, he crushed it. As I was saying, it's the pickerel. It's the pickerel, let's go, dude. Oh, it's a nice fish, this is a nice fish. 
This is a nice fish. Oh my gosh. He crushed it, dude. You can't make this up. You guys heard what I was saying. Oh, that's a really nice fish. That is a nice fish. Get in the boat. Oh my gosh, dude. Holy cow, he crushed it. On the spinner bait. Oh my gosh. It is gonna be a good day. Look at that beast. Annihilated it, man. Annihilated that bait. Holy cow. That is a real nice fish. There we go. Look at that. That is a monster. These things are prehistoric monsters right here. Beautiful, beautiful pickerel. I love these fish, man. There's bigger ones than this too, but he absolutely killed the spinnerbait. Show them to you guys one more time. Look at that. About a 20 incher probably. I'll get a quick measurement. Just under 20 inches. Really, really nice fish, guys. Really nice fish, 19 incher. First pickerel of the day. Get them all revived, ready to go. There he goes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Feel like we're gonna be using this net quite a bit today. I had a feeling this place was gonna be good today. I'm so glad I came here already and we only just started. Look what that fish did to the arm of this spinner bait right here. He bent it super far out. I'm gonna have to work it back with my pliers here. We got some abrasions in our line from the teeth too, so we're gonna have to retie. All right, we are retied, ready to go again. Spinner bait looks good. Man, first fish or first pickerel on a big spinner bait did not disappoint by any means. Gonna paddle right back over to where we caught that fish. See if there's any more over there and we'll just keep covering ground. That was a big fish and that was 19 inches and what I've been searching for is one of those citation pickerel and they have to be 24 inches if you're 16 and older here in the state of Delaware. For Maddie over there it has to be 20 inches which is a much more attainable goal than a 24 inch pickerel but I'm gonna get one one of these days. Could be today, never know. Right back at him, let's go. There's one, oh my gosh. Dude, they are killing this thing. They are just killing this bait. Hit it right here, I think it was a small bass or a pickerel, couldn't really tell, but it wasn't big. We can live with losing that, but dude, I probably made 10 casts today and I've got uh, fish on three out of ten. There's one out in the middle. Felt him hit it a couple times. Man, they're just killing this thing today. I don't know what this is. I think it might be jumping. Oh, there's our. Is that a bass? Yeah, it's our first decent bass of the day. Man fire bite right now much better than that first one we caught about a pounder right there nice fish get back out there doesn't matter where you throw this spinner bait right now it could be out in the middle out here it can be over there on the bank it could be way out in the middle i don't think it matters they're just crushing it from everywhere i'm like in the zone right now man i'm like expecting a fish on every cast i'm just I'm ready. Might have just had a hit there or deflected off some structure. Either way, it's a good thing. They love to crush it when it when you just bang it off with some wood or something down there. We could shatter my PB chain pickerel today too, which is 22 inches. I could definitely see that coming out of here. There's a fish as soon as it hit the water, man. This place is on fire, on fire. Another bass. Oh my gosh, man. We're gonna have a heck of a day right now. See you, bud. Let's get out of the tree right here. 
Man, I can't get them off the hook fast enough to get back out there for another cast. It's just rapid fire fish right now. I told you guys I had a feeling about today. That clown over there, Matt, he didn't even want to come here today too. He was like, I'll go anywhere but this pond that we're at right now. And I'm like, are you crazy? This place is gonna be good today. I convinced him to come and uh, I think he's pretty happy in that choice that he made. This is just on fire right now. We might even have to come back tomorrow. Heck, maybe even the day after that too. That's one piece of advice I have for y'all out there. If you find one body of water that's producing, go back to it the next day. See if it stays that way because a good bite isn't always easy to find. And we found one here today. There's another fish. Unreal. Oh my goodness, man. This is bass number four. <laughs> they are feisty too. Oh my goodness. These are all healthy, healthy fish too. Four bass and a pickerel in about 20 minutes of fishing. But yeah, like I was saying, if you find a place that's on fire, don't abandon it until it dries up. Because uh, especially in Delaware, you guys know it's hard to find a good bite sometimes. So always gotta take advantage of when you do find that good bite. As soon as it hit the water, oh my goodness, right by that log. This isn't a bad fish. This is a nice fish. Nice bass. Oh man. Best one of the day. Just sitting right by this structure. I knew I'd get one here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna get the net for this one, I think. There we go. About a two pounder. All right. I am seeing so many shad just blow up over here, getting eaten by all these bass and pickerel that are feeding right now. And I might even be more than two. Oh my gosh, what a day so far. Knew it was only a matter of time before these bigger, better fish started getting out here and getting onto the end of our lines out there. That's a solid two pounder. And if you look right there, He's got a big old mark on the side of him where probably a blue heron or one of those big birds tried to eat him. But he's a survivor. There he goes. He was sitting right there, right in that structure. If I had to guess, that's not the only fish that is sitting in this giant lay down right in front of me here either. Most of the nice fish I've caught in this fall have been super close to this wooden structure. And that fish was no different right there. There's one right there. I knew it, man. There is just so many fish loaded in here. Is he still on there? Yeah, that's another nice one. It's another nice one. I saw him come out and eat it, too. This might be a pickerel or something. Nope, another good bass. Man, I'm going to lose count today. Trying to paddle myself out of here so I don't spook any more that could be down in there. This one's about a pound, I'd say. Yep. Oh, look at the colors on this thing. That is a classic, beautiful looking fish right there. That's a classic Delaware bass. Look at that. That has the markings of like a trophy fish. This guy could be a big fish one day. I could see him being a future six pounder. Always seems to be that one dude who's mowing his grass or blowing his leaves when you come out here on a nice day. Other than that, it's perfectly calm and quiet. Yeah, yeah. I 
think the key right now is just finding water that's being blown by the wind. Most of the fish we've caught have been in that kind of moving water, I guess you'd call it. That's when this spinner bait just thrives. Yeah, I'm looking right now and that lay down over there is right kind of on the edge of where that moving wind blown water is. So we're gonna cast in here a few times, but we're gonna find some of that more moving water. That's where the fish really seem to be active. Man, the shads are just getting destroyed out here. I'm seeing blow up after blow up in the middle of the water. Look at all those shad going crazy right there. Oh man, I just got hit by whatever was chasing them. They are getting eaten right now. There's one right there, guys. Oh man. Oh, that's a crappie. That's a big crappie. Oh, and there he goes. About a 10, 11 inch crappie. Third species of the day, quick little release. Oh, there's one. Man, what the heck is going on? These crappy are crushing it, but it's hard for them to get this big bait in their mouth. I think that's what's going on. You add it like two or three times, just like that first one I had. There's another bite right there. Bet if I threw something smaller, I could slay the crappy right now, but we're going for bigger, better fish. All right, yeah. I think we're gonna switch up from the spinner bait now just to see if something else will work out here. Not to say uh, that we won't go back to the spinner bait if things get tougher, but we're gonna give something else a go. I'm gonna put this little minnow thing right here on the back of this chatter bait. Gonna see if we can catch them on that now. Oh my goodness, I just spooked something over there. And now I got him. Oh man, it's a good fish. I spooked whatever this was, and then he came out and ate it. Nice bass. Oh, he threw it. That was epic, though. That was epic. Oh, my gosh. I'm not even mad that I didn't land that fish. It was cool enough just to hook him. I threw it right over there by the lay down, and I saw something just explode out of the water like two feet from where I threw it, just like that. Oh my gosh, and that bass just destroyed the chatterbait. About a two pound or two. It is not Christmas yet, but I'm decorating the tree early. I hate it when you cast over here into a juicy spot like this and just ruin it when you have to bring your kayak up in here to get your lure, but it happens sometimes. Happens to the best of us. There's one right at the point of the tree. And he got off early too. <laughs> so uh, chatterbait doesn't seem to have quite the best hookup ratio right now, but it is producing. That's fine. It wasn't a giant. I'm not too mad. Oh, something crushed it, dude. I think that was a pickerel. I could see that come right out. We've only got about 15 more minutes of daylight, so obviously we want to allow ourselves a little bit of time to pack up and get back in the car and all that but I don't want to leave this pond man 
Just feels like we're that one cast away from landing a big one today. There's a fish. Oh, it's a good one. It is a giant. It's a giant out in the middle. I don't know how big this fish is, but it's a good one. They're chasing shad. I threw out there. This is a big fish, dude. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was an absolute giant. I could feel it coming, man. I could feel it coming. Just so quiet out here. Throwing a spinner bait. Saw the shad blowing up everywhere. That was an absolute monster of a fish. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to see him at least. That was a, that was a five pounder. He was pulling my kayak. That was the fish we were after today. I don't even know what to say right now. I could just feel the power of that fish. My heart is going a million miles an hour right now. If that fish would have eaten it a little bit differently, I'd probably be holding that trophy fish right now. That's fishing, that's how it goes sometimes. That would have been the ultimate end to a great day out on the water, but even if we don't land another fish, man, it's still been a good day. We have. Had a nice experience out here catching a lot of good fish. Had a good time. Had a real nice time out here and would have really, really capped it off with that giant fish. But I'm not going to talk any more about it. What's done is done. What's in the past is in the past. It is what it is, man. Throw a few more casts. We'll have to wait another day to catch that giant bass that we were after tonight. Heck of an outing though. It's hard to leave disappointed after a day like we just had. But I can't help feel that we missed a really, really nice fish right there. Nonetheless though, what an awesome night. Look at this place. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Time to get off the water. Maybe we'll come back out here tomorrow. This place is on right now, but as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for pushing that red subscribe button. Thank you for leaving all your comments that you do. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining us on this journey, man. It's been fun. It's been a great night. We'll be back out here soon. See you next time.